Hi guys, it's Epiphany Kendall, and I just was on Netflix before I got in the shower, um, watching all kinds of um, documentaries. I watched one called um, Tapped, which was talking about the water, the unbottled water industry. Um, I watched one called Food Inc. when they were talking about how we were, how um. Our chicken was processed and the processed foods we eat and I've always been the type since I can remember like since my eight, 18 19 on up I'm um, saying telling my friends like I'm fasting or I'm not eating this and I remember not eating <laughs> I stopped eating meat and I started getting skinny because I didn't know the proper steps to take um, so I've always been the type who wanted to try to live a healthier lifestyle. And now that I'm getting older, I feel like my energy level is kind of getting lower. And I just know that I want to live a better life. And I know you guys are like, wait, what is going on? Where are the styling videos? Where are the modeling videos? Where are the makeup videos? But I feel like in order for me to really envision and to do what it is that God wants me to do, I need to be have, be clear-minded, and I'm trying, I am working on having a balanced life. I'm reading up on books, as I've said in prior, the prior video, for relationships, for health, for my spiritual health, spiritual growth, and all. So I don't just want to think about, you know, success, 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 when, you know, I need to really grow in other areas of my life. Um... And I think this this journey is so beautiful. I've always wanted, I was always the type to want to learn more, you know, do more and um, be better than I was yesterday or last month or last year. So now that, you know, I'm financially able to buy the books that I need and buy the right thing, foods or whatever, I'm really doing it. And it's it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I just wanted to show you a few books that came in that I had ordered. I'm waiting for two more to come, and I'll just um explain more about things in a few. But this one is Tony Gaskin Senior: Eight Mistakes Women Make in Relationships. And I did he asked questions because the first, the third mistake women make is, well, not even the third mistake, but really like the first mistake we do is not know ourselves. Um, so he asked questions, um, and what I, I did a questionnaire on here where, you know, the questions pop up and then I'm answering them from my point of view. So I'll be posting that soon. I bought women of the Bible, one year devotional study of women in scripture. And today, since it's Monday, I got to read the first one, which was about Eve. Let me show you, um, Eve means living a life-giving or mother of all who have life. They talk about her character, her sorrow, and her joy. And then they send you to the key scriptures of her. And it's amazing. And I'm so excited because, you know, I'm all about spiritual growth. You know, God is amazing. And it's just, I'm well-rounding myself. I need to know who I am. And the journey is amazing, as I've said before. <clears throat> And this is Tony A. Gaskins again, Mrs. Wright, A Woman's Guide to Becoming and Remaining a Wife. And the first thing before um, knowing who you are is closing your legs, which I picked up on one of his videos. And I decided, you know what? Celibacy is key. I am going to make this vow and marry myself, which I did. Um, and then... It's self-publishing for dummies because we all know I am publishing, self-publishing my own book. Um, and I'm excited. It's the Hood Girls A to Z Guide to Success. And I'll talk about that in other videos. So I also wanted to discuss how I am about to fast. I'm putting myself on a fast. It's juicing, a juice fast. Um have to go buy a lot of fruits and freeze them and things like that. So drinking juices three times a day. And I heard, you know, the first four days are going to be, like, crucial. But I'm going to stay in prayer. And although I do have to work, good thing I'm not, you know, moving around too much. It'll work. Um, I want to do it now. And a lot of people, you know, t were telling me, like, with you working, how are you going to do it? I can do whatever I put my mind to. And I'm going to do it. 
Also, um, I'm going to do it for 21 days. And because, you know, it takes 21 days to form a habit. So I'm doing it for 21 days. And after that, I'm going to continue juicing. and But I'm, I'm going to eat more, much more healthier. Less, less, less processed foods as possible. I'm on here watching these documentaries, Googling, researching, and I am excited. I'm excited to feel good, to be healthier, and... It's just a lot. Also, I've always, my mom always taught me about eating healthier. And as I know now, I'm not a mom, but I'm getting my lifestyle together. So when it's time, I'm not feeding my kid anything out of the corner store. None of that. People have it like one year's old, we're near one year olds eating cheese doodles and lollipops and to each his own. But I know what kind of lifestyle I'm going to live, God willing. I live that long. But yeah, so I was just thinking about all of this and I'm like, you know what, this is just a part of my journey and I it knows like many people on here doing it, um, the makeup and everything and I'm not an expert. I just show what I like to do for low money and, you know, a little bit of time and not a lot of products. But, you know, if I feel like getting back into that, I'll get back into that. Um, but right now I'm just developing and growing spiritually emotionally physically everything healing myself um the whole um celibacy thing it it's hard i've been feeling like oh my gosh i'm feeling lonely not alone but a little lonely um you know as a woman you at times want that male attention you know that that text message and i can easily just pick up the phone and get that but it's just, no, I'm staying strong. So anytime, like at night, I start to feel lonely, I literally just start praying and talking to God. And it has been helping. It has been working. And the first thing I do now, I'm back on it, and I just need to stick it out, is waking up, going into prayer, just thinking, meditation, and everything. Just how I was before I got my job, that's how I want to be now. You know what I mean? Because of that, me really going into prayer and meditating, that's how God brought me this job. So I don't want to lose focus or, uh, you know, tell him, okay, thanks, you did that, so now I don't have to pray to you anymore or anything. I don't want to do that. So it's, it, it's a journey, and I'm loving it, and I'm 23, so being young and being focused, it's a plus. It really is a plus. So um, that's all for right now. Thank you.